god for you. Hey guys. Welcome. We be doing uh, redstone today. I guess. Okay. First of all, I'm gonna teach you how to make a redstone circuit. Wait, I need to change the chat. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so the first the things you'll need for a redstone circuit it can be either an observer uh, well a couple of observers and well, repeaters and then redstones and for the repeater one you'll need redstone torches okay let's, so let's put the redstone one the repeater one over here so you need to do it like this okay and then you need to pull one down and then two down over here and then Stay down, pull that all the way back, and then you just do that. Keep this one, usually, keep one of them just like normal, and then pull one of them all the way back, and then do it, and then light it with a redstone torch to make it go like that. Uh. Just a second, channel. And message. I'm just updating people in my disc. Like, no, it's <laughs> stream things. Use. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's how you make a redstone circuit. So it's four repeaters in just like this. You can also make it other ways, like you can make it longer like that, longer every other way. For example, you can ma probably make it like this. For example, and then just I'm just gonna put it here, and then. It will go around like that. You could probably make it bigger as well. Or different lengths on each side. But yeah. And how you make it with an observer. Is you put observer like. I think it's this way. Yeah it's this way. So you put the face. Let me show you. This facing. You need to get that the face part. Right next to each other. And as you see here, oh hi Gem, we're doing redstone today, we're doing redstone. So I just talked about how to make a redstone clock like this, uh, like that, and then how to make one with observers, which is you just need to put the face, like the face part together. Now you'll notice that this pit goes faster than the redstone clock. You can, if you're lining up with, let's say, a redstone lamp, you could probably just put a repeater, and then, and then you can do it however, like how um, slow or fast you want it to go. Get me? Okay, so now we're gonna do a redstone door. Now I think I talked about this on my last stream, so. So get any block that can be moved by a sticky piston. So basically wood, uh, sandstone, whatever. Well, smart stuff. I know, I know. Okay, so you want... Now this is for one by one, like one by two. I can, I'll show you in a minute how to do a two by two door. So you need to do it like this. I think it's like this. And then you do... <laughs> Uh, like this and then you put the redstone there that'll push it there and then you do it like this also you need a pressure plate right here and right here to actually open it and so you'll need to make it go around like here and like here just so it can c go on and connect to the pressure plates and then you can just go through it like that okay now we'll make the 2 by 2 door it's a little bit different, but it's the same concept. So, sticky pistons on either side. 
you know what, I'll need a little bit more room for this one, so let's go over here. Okay, so two by two. Sticky piston on this side, sticky piston on this side. And then do... Do... I am learning more <laughs> than school, man. Mood. Okay, then you need to do it like this. Put the redstone on this side. Put it on this block and on this block. And on this block and on this block. Put the redstone torches on these two blocks here. And on these two blocks here. Now push it like that. And then you need to connect it up to connect redstone up to this redstone torch here. Uh, and then you need to connect it up to this redstone here. Oh yeah, I need to put the pressure plates down. Uh, here and here. And then you connect it up to that pressure plate. Uh, and then you connect it up to this redstone and this pressure plate here. And of course you connect redstone to this torch here. Connect it up to the redstone there. Connect it up to the redstone here. And then you connect it up to the pressure plate right here. And then you can go through here. And I don't know how to do it for three by three. I mean three by two even. So uh, I don't know. Okay, so uh, also if any of you wanna do wanna know how to use a hopper, because I know I know how to do it, but like. So using the hopper is just easy. I know quite a few people won't be able to do it. So if you want the hopper to be on top of the chest, chest, shift and click on the chest. Now if I put something in this hopper here, like this chest, it'll go into this chest here. If you want to do it, if you want the hopper to be like in front of the chest, shift and click at the front of the chest. And then it should be able to go in. It's the same principle for if you want to do it at the side, click shift and click the s whichever side. So for example, I can put it in there and then I can put that one in there and it, sh and it comes up in this chest here. Same if you want to do it in the back of the chest, put it in here and then it will go in there. It also It's also the same principle for double chests and the side by side chests put it in that the side there and it'll only go into this chest here put it at this side and it'll go only go into this side if you put it on like the top of this one it'll go into the whole into the whole double chest and if you put it on any side so for example there put it in there and it'll come up in the large chest now let's see uh, targets. I kind of want to show you how to do targets. So let's just get an oak plank. Uh, let's get a target right here. And then put it up to this redstone lab. You can also use repeaters on these. To put it on any slowness, any, like, slowness you want. And then you'll get any project anything that is a projectile so for example a crossbow a trident uh, a bow um i believe a snowball works on this too yeah a snowball works on this so as you can see you hit the target and that lamp will light up same if you use a trident you shoot it it goes on there same if you use a crossbow shoot it and I got an achievement and it'll turn on. Okay, let's see. Uh, tripwire hooks. Now, I've not seen a lot of people use tripwire hooks, but these are mainly using traps, but you can use them to light up redstone lamps as well and to use pistons to move around other blocks. So, for example, you need at least three blocks in between the into the in between these two blocks to place the tripwire hooks and the string. Then, let's just put down the those there, 
and you'll see they light up as soon as I crossed the string. Okay, and you can have this string at any length, so if, whether it be like 10 blocks or 20 blocks, whatever. Okay, daylight sensor. Um, I don't really see many people using daylight sensors. So, for example, this uses it when it's daytime, and I believe when you click it, it goes on to nighttime. So, for example, if I just set it to night, it turns on at, at night. On this, turns off at wood. I guess this turns off, I guess. Uh, time set. Midnight. That turns off. Because there's no daylight. But if I turn it to time set day. That turns off. That one turns on. That one works at night. That one works at day. Okay. So I kind of want to go through the difference between a dispenser and a dropper. So I kind of want to do use this example with water. Because it's like the easiest example on how to explain the difference. So let's just do this right here. Let's just use a button. So now let's get two buckets of water. Right here and right here. So a dispenser will empty the button bu bucket <laughs> even and put it into this little pool area. But a dis a dropper will just throw out the water altogether. If you get me. And then that will collect the water once you click it again. Okay. Note blocks. Now note blocks actually work depend now kind of different sounds. So let me just turn my sound up. It works on different blocks. So I think it works different on wood, sand and glass. Uh let's just get some sand. So we have So as you can see this is what let's just let's just use on snow as a comparison. So this is what it sounds like on oak wood. This is what it sounds like on snow. And this is what it sounds like on glass. This is what it sounds like on sand. Now I'm just gonna change it so they're all at the starting note. So for example this one. They're all green. And let's just all connect them up with redstone. So So let's just connect it up to those uh let's just connect it up to one of these here. Now obviously it won't move because I believe it's it's even more than eight blocks or more than yeah, I think it's more than eight blocks. If it's more than eight blocks, the redstone won't travel. So you'll need, uh, you. I think you'll even need a comparator or a. You'll even need a comparator or a repeater because they do similar jobs. This one more of boost boosts the signal strength. Well, with Peter, you can change up the signal speed. Like, for example, you can hear it now. But it's not that strong. So let's just move. Let's just... And repeat it. Oh, I don't think it travels through glass. So there we go. Let's just turn off the sound. I believe it does work on other blocks like diamond, but we can test that another time. Okay, so let's just go through a few of our items. Uh, um, okay, trap chests. 
I kind of want to go through those. So let's just go redstone and then iron door for now. Uh, let's just do a no like a normal door, like an oak door. So we have. Let's okay. Here we go. So we have it connected up to two doors. When we open the chest. Huh? I don't. It should be working, right? I swear it should be working. Like it worked ages ago. Uh, let's just get. I have no idea what's going on. I think they might have changed it since the last time I used one. I'm just checking it out. Okay. Drop chests. Okay, they use those redstone components. Uh, but it produces redstone uh, thingy when opened. Redstone uh, power when opened. So, how you create stuff. Uh... Uh, powers any it including beneath to power level. And it was activates any adjacent mechanic including bows such as pistons. Due to hoppers being low. So I don't know why that didn't work exactly, but we can figure that out. Because you can see it's connected up to the chest. So. I don't know. Okay. So. You. I think you can. You can do one where. A. One of these redstone doors. When it's. Like in the floor. So for example. Let me just create one here. I did do this in uh, my in one of my other bits in this world, but I can't be bothered finding out. So I've got two here. Oh, these should these pistons should be further back. There we go. And then. Let's just oh, put these uh, here. Okay, these should go here as well, just like in the thingy, in the other one. Just so those ones connect up to the redstone torches, I'll be connecting up that up to there. Now, this should also go on top and below. They should also connect up to here and up to here. Um, oh yeah, I need to make pressure plates. So let's just put pressure plates there and then pressure plates there. Not redstone pressure plates. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, I have still no idea how this is supposed to work because again I'm still I'm not like a pro at lead, redstone or anything uh, how do I do this over here okay maybe if I do one part of the redstone yeah maybe if I just do one piston for now I can see how it works later on um, there, 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 there. Okay, so we got one piston here. 
connecting it up to here and then connecting it up to there we go okay so why didn't it work for the other one I have no idea I mean you can try to figure it out on your own if you want if you get redstone <laughs> okay so this you can use it like this oh yeah I think I used separate like I think I did it like so for example let's just let's just do it like this let's just make something out here okay let's just do like one here and then and then you know what one I think it's supposed it's supposed to be here here and then it's supposed to be one uh, it's supposed to, then let's just put the wood here for reference uh, it's, that's supposed to be here okay and then another piston goes here so they're all like for the separate block block and then you do the different like parts so the redstone touches the redstone and then you put like where do I put it? I put it next to the block but obviously you do it differently over here because it's in the ground not in like the actual like not, it's like horizontal not vertical uh, I'm gonna put some glass down because you can now place redstone on glass so that's that's helpful also when you're doing it like this always put the block you want to put the redstone on next to the piston because it doesn't work otherwise so we have uh, just gonna throw some of this in just so you know we have a little bit of room then we have the redstone torch there and there then you connect it up to the redstone torch um, I usually connect up on both sides just cause convenience and plus I'm used to doing it like that way over there so yeah okay redstone torch there and there the only reason I know how to do it is cause I found I, I found the like vertical one online and then I just figured out how to do do like this bit like this one by myself because like I was like I was actually patient enough for once to do redstone so yeah okay so then you go over here and then you basically do the same for each part for like each piston you do the same bit so it'll do just be the like same thing over and over again but obviously it's in a different context than it was for that one because that one's because those ones are quite easy to remember this one you just need and those plus those ones over there don't really require a lot of space but these ones require like a mass amount of space so if you don't have like if you can't be bothered just like digging like a lot of space like underground or just making a, a lot of space then I would I would suggest using the horizontal one instead of not the horizontal the vertical one instead of the, this horizontal one so I need I'm gonna put the pressure plates here now obviously you can do this with over like what I would describe as input devices so for example the lever, the redstone touch, the tripwire hook, the buttons like I guess the hopper but I don't really that's more of taking 
putting stuff into chests. So, so things like the the lever, the redstone torch, tripwire hooks, buttons, pressure plates, and daylight sensors. You can use these. So, for example, let you know what? Let's just connect up the. Let's just connect up the um, pressure plates to the circuit right now. So here we go. There we go. There. Uh, oh yeah, we need to connect up this to here. Oh yeah, I do it like that. And it should, yeah, it brings down one block. But if you want to, you can, I think you can connect up to the daylight sensors as well. Can you? No, I don't think so. But I think you can connect up to buttons. Yeah, you can connect up to buttons. You can connect up to levers. Uh, but I think if you... I think the way you can do it with daylight sensors is if you do it like this. Oh, there we go. You can connect it up to daylight sensors if you put it like that. So it'll be open like that. But I mainly do it with pressure plates. And then you do like that. And yes, I made a massive bed. So, I'm just going to check who's here. It's just me. <laughs> so this is how you make it over here. Um, I might only do a half hour stream. Just because... I think I've almost gone through everything I want to go through. Um, I guess. So if there's anything you wanted me to go through like next week or whatever, then just like put it in the comments and stuff. Now, obviously, now for these ones, you need sticky pistons, not these regular pistons. Because if I show you what piston, the difference between pistons and sticky pistons. Uh, let's just get awkward. So, pistons, awkward. This is old plants, either. So this is... Let me just label them. So this is piston, and this is a sticky piston. So let me just wire up them up to a lever. So this is the sticky piston. You see, it moves the block whenever this part is mo moves. But whenever this whenever this moves, it only pushes it up. It doesn't move, so it doesn't move back down. While this this oak oak plant moves up and down with the sticky piston. But if you put another one there, it'll move up and then down. Up down. Up down. Up down. Uh, up down. It will just keep going up and down until the limit. I know there's a limit of how many blocks can be pushed by a normal piston. So I'm just going to see how, what that limit is now. Okay, so the limit of how many blocks can be pushed is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the amount of blocks that can be pushed. Uh, let, let me just write it here. The amount of blocks that can be pushed by a single piston is 12. Now, I believe this is the case for 
sticky pistons as well if you do like this you just push it up and down now we're not creating this these two blocks here because that one already put that one's being pushed up and down well we're only counting the ones that can be pushed that can only be pushed up so for example this one this one can't be pushed up anymore so up and down so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so i'm gonna write it as a note here the amount of blocks that can be pushed up only only by a sticky piston is 12. So, if any of you want to do anything that I have put in this video today, just like DM me or, or just like comment it in the comments and I'll do a singular video on it throughout the week or maybe on the weekend. So I hope this I hope you enjoyed this shorter video today. But I promise that but there might be another video on the weekends. Bye. Uh.